Hana. We are unboxing the Blue Compass Boom Arm. Let's do this. What's up, everybody? Check it out. It's your boy, Gary. Welcome back to Wiley's World. We're going to do something a little bit different for the channel today. We're in the process of upgrading. You know, a podcast is something that's always been on my mind, you know, ever since 2019. I've been a part of Anchor, and I've started one, stopped, started, stopped. Stop. So anyways, this year, the goal is to get everything up and running. So I've invested a little bit into building up the studio, you know. So first thing is, I do have this, the Blue Yeti 10-year anniversary edition, right? And this is what I'm currently using when I'm doing vocals or the voice for my videos. Right now, I'm coming di directly straight through the ZV-1. But when I'm doing my actual videos, I use the Blue Yeti. And I wanted to upgrade, so I wanted to have more free range and stuff like that. So I picked up this Compass Blue Boom Arm, right? It has the mic on there. There was a couple of other options, but this one actually had my microphone on there. So decided to let's try it out. Let's see if I can get to it to work properly. There's quite a few reviews on this device about it being not very user-friendly when it comes to getting it in position. And that's not something that I, I'm looking forward to. I hate devices that stress you the hell out just making it just getting it put together hopefully it's not that we're gonna go ahead and, and try this out and see what we can do if this is your first time to the channel make sure you like subscribe turn on the notification bell so you get notifications when i'm dropping content there's a bunch of different content on this channel let me know what you like and i've tried a bunch of different things out anyway stay tuned let's get to the unboxing let's see what we got I bought this from Best Buy here in Arizona for $100. It was $99, $99.99 plus tax. So this is my first ever boom arm purchase and I'm really just trying to add things to help with the ease of producing content. I don't really expect this to have a, you know, make me make better content, but just the ease. This is what it looks like when you open it. So that's why I'm trying to pull it out right now. fully extended look at this thing this thing is long as heck but here we go this is it instruction book right here Take this off. Wow. check this out now we got this instruction book right. look what we got looks like there's about three steps to this and then some fine tuning that you're able to do with it so let's look for a spot to put this up in the studio and set this bad boy up There's 
that bad boy. Voila! There we go, and there's the tip to that. That should fit just right. All right, there's one more piece to take out of here. And it looks like this is the clamp part. Yeah. This is the clamp part that screws on to the table. Okay, that's metal down there. I thought it was some kind of flimsy plastic at first, but this feels pretty heavy. Let's do it. Screw this onto the bottom here. Actually, that's not even a screw on. These just slide in. Like that. Done. So there is a thing that they said about the additional tension adjustment. You can see that. That's pretty much this screw where they said that you're able to put the screw in there and either tighten it and or loosen it depending on your microphone, how much tension that you need as far as keeping everything balanced. On the bottom here, these are the locks where you are able to pop this up. I said it was pretty hard. Oh yeah, look. Pops up. And you're able to string your cords, your mic cords, along the bottom of this. That's what gives it that seamless look. Now, I don't know if it's, it doesn't seem too stiff, overly stiff, or anything like that, so. I thought these were gonna be a little bit tougher. The guy said that these would definitely break your fingernails. But uh, <laughs> we use our hands where I come from, so no biggie. Now, my thing is this. Where would a player like me attach this? Because as of now, there's no room. I would have to attach it I would have to attach this to the pull-out drawer, which is not secure especially since i didn't buy the pop filter i have a filter on top of mine already but i didn't buy the basket that they try to sell with this so <sighs> so it's been a while it's been a, it's been frustrating i'm like i'm gonna keep it 100. i tried it i tried it here Tried it there. I tried it to test to that. Right here, I have it attached to this. Maybe thinking I could do, you know, put it in a spot for podcasting. Look, no matter how tight or how loose I set that cord, It just doesn't stay in any position well for me. These, I feel, are no competition for how tightly wound the springs are that control the tension. Look at that. As I began to loosen it, look how tight it is. It's so tight, literally, that they're clashing. So I'm just gonna take this apart and take it back. I mean, look at it, it's a nice looking arm, right? If only it had some, some, some give. Ugh. 
right? Get it in position. And there it goes. Look, this is very stiff. And then as soon as you let go of it, it just goes right back. So, gave it a shot, guys. But, hey, you're going back. Peace. Unfortunately, like I said, I hate stressful products. Something that you get is supposed to be a premium product, which it says on the box, should actually be premium. And I saw many bad reviews on it. I thought, whatever, I'm gonna give it my shot. I'll just set it up right. I'll mess with the tension until I get it right. And there's no getting it right with this. Don't really recommend this product. I've seen people say that they've taken them back and getting another one and it works immediately. Right out the box like it should. I guess I got one of the defective ones, which they're coming defective from the factory where they're overly tensioned. And there's nothing you could do to get the tension right. You can unscrew the plate. You can screw the screw the tension in completely tight. Don't do that. This thing is so tight that it's unworkable. So I'll be taking this back to Best Buy. I'll try something else. But for now, I'm just going to put it back in its little 10th anniversary case. And work from here. Guess it didn't work out for me. I hope you guys have better luck with it. Nice.